ten months stranded on the Bermudas, building this vessel to make our escape. Many did not wish to leave such a bounteous haven, but our leaders reminded us of our great endeavor and responsibility to our brethren in Virginia. And so we labored on this pinnace. We salvaged Sea Venture's ruined carcass for materials and felled stout Bermuda cedar for planking. To carry all to Virginia, we built a second vessel, a bark we named Patience. And at last, on May the 10th, 1610, we bade farewell to fair Bermuda. To feed ourselves and to supply Jamestown, we carried a great store of salted cahows, pork loins, dried fish, and sea turtles. This time, fair winds gave us safe passage in 10 days. How surprised were our friends and relatives to see us again. Long had they given us up for dead. As if by sorcery, lost for close to a year, we sailed up the James River. But what horrors we found. Our Jamestown friends tell of starvation, native attack, desire to flee the colony forever. How they welcomed our arrival, not a moment too soon. What tricks chance has played upon us. Bermuda was thought an evil place, a realm of wicked spirits and calamity, but Bermuda and the deliverance has given new hope to our future in America. I will chronicle a fabulous story and publish it for all to read. Perhaps one day you'll hear my tale and my name will go down in history.